uh, I wake up one morning, this nigga all in my inbox. Uh, you know, with that styrofoam body <laughs> flexing on me. So, man, that nigga, uh, he had these two things. They were big in a motherfucker. And he lifted it up. Mm. I said, oh, man, this bitch want to flex his muscles. <laughs> and I was standing in the mirror looking at myself. I said, man, you can't. Why you go compete with them muscles? Man, that nigga be blowed up. I said, I'm going to blow something up for a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I went to pulling on that dick. I know what to Yeah, I know what to send him. <laughs> yeah, he want to show something. I got something to show too, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you, you talking about you proud of your muscles? I'm proud of this law. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we just need one big one first. Oh, we, oh, we, yeah, yeah, we get it right. Roll. We can yeah, roll. This is real. Yeah, I like my class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wrong, uh -huh. right, we're good. We're on you. We're good. Can I be real? Can I be real? One more clap, man. One more clap, man. Go. Damn, I missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Can I be real, man? We in the building, man. Hey, we in the building, man. Hey, can I be real, man? This yeah. is your host, Dion. Hey, it was Dion the motivator, but after getting this game today, you know what I'm saying? Dion Hardeman. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hey, y'all see who's sitting on the couch, man. Yeah. We got the legendary, man. We got the infamous. We got the most famous. We got yeah. the setting the internet on fire, man. We got, hey, we got Mr. Charleston White in the house. Yeah, man. Uh, somebody, somebody told me last week, and I thought they were bullshitting. They said that, uh, that I'm the, one of the most viral uh, persons on earth right now. Uh, Cause I was okay. social media platform. That's what's up. Uh, it took a minute for me to realize that, uh, but nigga, I got a fan base in Africa, and yeah. I ain't. I don't ever even want to go to Africa. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah they tried to get me to go over there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you been viral for a long time. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, yeah, long yeah. Time. yeah. Most yeah. people viral for like a week. Yeah, most people can't re can't remember the last big internet sensation. Uh, man, I showed up uh, with a character saying, "Nigga." Fuck the character. This is yeah. who I am in real life. Yeah. So I was tricking. I was tricking people, homie, uh, by saying some some outlandish shit. Uh, was it risky? Uh, yeah. Uh, so is driving home after the club. Thanks, bro. Yeah, cause you know you've been drinking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, what was this dangerous? Uh, yeah. Uh, so was gang banging when a nigga was trying to gang bang. Yeah. Uh, was I hurting anybody? Mm -mm. Cause I was always told sticks and stones may break my bone, but words would never hurt me, especially if I don't know you and I ain't say them to you. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, "Well, he said this." Uh, you can get online and say anything about Charleston. You didn't say it to me. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you said something about his kids. His kids ain't online. Mm -hmm. I said it to him. Whatever man, I, I said it to the father. I didn't say it to the kids. He talk bad to buy kids. Now I talk bad to a nigga about his kid. <laughs> That's real. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. Uh, because I'm holding a mirror up. Yeah. Uh, people forget when I first came to the internet, I never would curse. Uh, I didn't have dreads. Uh, I had a ball fade, a very clean cut. Uh, I wore boots. I wore dress shoes. My shirt tail was tucked in every day. Uh, I had a bow tie on. I had a vest. Uh, so I was very uh, Dr. King, Malcolm, articulate. Uh, I, I didn't smoke on camera. Uh, I didn't use the, the nigga word. I didn't say the N word on camera. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. well, uh, because I, I evolved. Uh, uh, I evolved. I wouldn't say I grew, but I, I evolved uh, 
and 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 I became the culture. Yeah. Nigga, I became the culture. Yeah. Uh, I, I embodied the culture. I had been, I had spent what the last eight, ten years in Stop Six, right, right outside the projects at the Classy Lady. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I had been working with the culture. Uh, I went and joined poor people. Uh, I didn't live in the hood, homie. Mm -hmm. Uh, I didn't just go down there and work with children. Uh, I brought my kids with me. Mm -hmm. I slept down there. Uh, I ate, I ate down there. Niggas thought I was homeless because I was sleeping in my car down there. Uh, I slept next to the barbecue pit, nigga, so I could make sure that motherfucking wood was hot in the morning for when them kids got up. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I became the culture. I became people, the people. Uh, I, was in a, I was in a blood neighborhood saying, fuck the bloods. <laughs> yeah, now, now listen. Uh, at the, at the, at the, when all the, uh, yeah, all the gangbangers mm -hmm. would see me. But they couldn't deny the fact that I was burying the blood kids too, and they wasn't. Uh, they couldn't deny the fact uh, that they were seeing me go get kids out the juvenile system uh, who was innocent for crimes that they didn't commit but was locked up for. Uh, they started seeing me ha having events in, 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 in the community uh, when people were going to jail for driving on suspended license. We was getting that done away with. Uh, I started having a STD clinics. Uh, nigga at the at the hood spot, you yeah. where niggas sell weed at, yeah. where we bootlegging and gambling. Yeah. I got the STD clinic I mean, set up right here. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I and, and I had the, uh, the health department. Uh, they gave me over twenty thousand over twenty thousand condoms. Uh, yeah, nigga, I, I pull up on all the hoes in, in the hood, nigga, uh, <laughs> making sure. No well, no, nah, not not no babies, the prostitutes. Mm. Uh, see what I did, I I, I put. I put all the condoms in a in a bowl, like a candy bowl, in the club. And niggas just come get free condoms. Uh, then I went to the host road where the young girls, 18, 19, like Harry Hine, we ride through, see them young girls. Yeah. They find them motherfucker. Yeah. You know yeah. she's 20, yeah. 22. Yeah. She <laughs> needs to be in a strip club, mm -hmm. but for whatever reason, we yeah, already know sure. niggas, most of us ain't got condoms in our pocket because they hiding the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Bought them $10, three rubbers, boy, making them fuck them, bro. Man, I'm going to fuck up, bro. <laughs> they, I, yeah. <laughs> they were high last. They be always been out. Yeah, yeah. You either steal them or you just raw dog. <laughs> Yeah, or you go to your what a nigga say say you got a rub on you? Yeah, yeah, go most ahead. niggas, <laughs> most <laughs> niggas, I ain't never had a nigga say say nigga I got a bag of these motherfuckers right here. <laughs> nigga have a box of a box yep. of swishers. Niggas yep. have two hundred packs of backwoods. Mm -hmm. yep. Niggas have 40, 50 yep. pounds yep. of Michael Jordan. I ain't got no condoms. No condoms, <laughs> and he fuck every day. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know some people say man if I gotta use a condom I ain't even finna hit it. Oh, that's nigga don't care about life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that nigga don't give a damn about life. That nigga might shit and get up. Won't even wipe his ass. He pull his pants right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell no. Nah. Neither nigga saying that don't give a damn about life. I can see you using that motherfucker, uh, you know, when y'all fuck at night and then come back in the morning and raw dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, start out safely and then before check out time, yeah, break all the rules. That's how I go, ain't Yeah. Ain't that's how I go, that's nigga? Go. Start out fucking with the condom. <laughs> Boy, before y'all leave the hotel, oh, especially if y'all yeah. spend a night, yeah, yeah, if you right. wake up and get it in the morning, you ain't putting no rub back on. <laughs> hey, I already hit so it now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> or, or you put the rub on and you eat it with no rub. <laughs> That's wild, though. You done sacrificed your That's dick wild. for your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, you remember? Hey, that's why. Yeah. Hey, my, yeah. Hey, if I got dog. Yeah, yeah. Man, hey, there's hey, plenty hey. nigga put that condom on that dick and go eat up, eat up, push with just raw lip. So they walk around here with them bumps on their lip. <laughs> yeah, they walk around and get them when it get cold or they go to work and shit. I be seeing them niggas. Nigga, shit gets bumping up. Nigga, I've been on the internet seven years. They ain't never spotted one on mine. <laughs> No, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't. The young weight and everything. Everything. Real, but I, I hear you talk about like you know your 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 journey of you know how you started out, right? And yeah. I saw an interview, and I know you say you didn't talk about you used to didn't say the word nigga. Nah. And but you got that word nigga like that's your word like you got that trademark like how did that come about? Oh, uh, I I. I I hear I inherited the word from from the old niggas. Uh, I used to think nigga was a derogatory term till I met a nigga. Mm -hmm. So I tell people all the time, you don't, you don't know no nigga. Mm -hmm. You don't know nobody who was born with the word N-I-G-G-E-R on their birth certificate. And they, when they died, it was N-I-G-G-E-R on their birth certificate. Mm -hmm. 
there are still some niggas left today, like my grandmother. She's in the 80s, 84, 85. Uh, the old man who taught me about niggas, he's 78 right now. Mm -hmm. He called himself the last nigga. Mm -hmm. He was born in 1945. That's where you see 1945 on his ring. Mm -hmm. You see nigga nation. So we was taught about the African, the slave, the African slave, mm -hmm. then the slaves, the slaves was called nigger, and nigger is a bad word. Then you got from the nigger, you had colored. From, you had, from colored, you had Negro. From Negro, you had black. From black, you had African American. And then today, you got the niggas and the hip hops. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say niggas, you got N I G G A. We niggas. Real nigger. Street nigger. Mm -hmm. Thug nigga, so we niggas. Mm -hmm. We could never be a nigger. For one, we don't know how to grow food. We can read, they couldn't, so we could never be a nigger. Mm -hmm. So for a white person to call us a nigger, it's really a compliment. Because those are the greatest people to have ever been born and lived on earth. They're the only human beings on earth who haven't done nothing wrong to nobody, mm -hmm. and they got mistreated. Mm -hmm. they, never, they never started a war. Those are the only, and, and those niggers didn't come from Africa. Mm -hmm. The Africans who was brought here, the first generation was African slaves. Mm -hmm. The second generation was African slaves. The third generation was niggers made in America mm -hmm. because they stopped importing slaves into the country because the world said, okay, we're not going to do this anymore. Mm -hmm. What did America say? Fuck the world. We go make niggers right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to make breeding farms. We're going to call them motherfuckers. So there was no longer, when, so when they started breeding slaves here, these aren't Africans. Thanks. These aren't Africans. Yeah. They wasn't, these are not indigenous people that was already here. These motherfuckers was made by the white man. Mm -hmm. And who gave them a name? The white man. What was his name? Nigger. It wasn't Bob. It wasn't Jim. Mm -hmm. You didn't get the slave master's name. See, that's the biggest lie total. You got your slave master name. Slave master didn't give you no name, nigga. You was nigga. Mm -hmm. Mark Twain gave us a name. And that's just for my educated niggas who really know uh, about America. Up until Mark Twain wrote the book, Huckleberry Finn, uh, the nigga didn't have a name. Come here, nigga. Die, nigga. Fuck wrong with what you looking at, nigga. He didn't have a name. Yeah, no, it's real. It's real. Now, his mama and them gave him a name. Mm -hmm. Chicken shit, George. Because mm -hmm. George knew how to fuck with the chickens on the plantation, so they called him little chicken George. Come here, chicken George. That's his, the, the slave mm -hmm. plantation. But when he leave that motherfucking plantation, he a nigga. Mm -hmm. He can't go to the next plantation and say, my name George. Boss, nigga, you better shut your motherfucking ass <laughs> up, nigga. So he couldn't say that, right? Mm -hmm. So those people never had a problem with being a nigga. They was born nigga. They want us, black people of today want us to believe that the people before us had a problem with being called nigger. They had no problem with being called nigger. They just didn't want to be hung and mistreated. The slave who was born into slavery didn't know slavery was, mm -hmm. don't know nothing before yeah, that, right? Yeah. So let me stay on topic. So the Africans had a language on their plantations. Mm -hmm. That's why when you watch the movie Roots, they kept calling Kunta the Geechee man. Mm -hmm. Come on now, Geechee man. They don't talk to that Geechee man. So the Africans didn't really bond and form with the, the nigger slaves. They had two different mindsets. Mm -hmm. The African was conquered and enslaved. Mm -hmm. The black man showed up and it was slavery. Mm -hmm. Born. His mother taught him this is the way you do what he said. So he knew nothing other mm -hmm. than to submit to slavery. Mm -hmm. So those people couldn't read, they couldn't write. So why do we believe that they took the white man's God? They couldn't even read the Bible. So why would we be rejecting their God? They couldn't read the Bible. Mm -hmm. They couldn't read the Quran. They couldn't read. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have a religion. But boy, they sung songs and their spirit moved and they looked up at the sky and they talked. Mm -hmm. Boy, they had a spirit. 
When Harriet Tubman was escaping, she didn't have no motherfucking paper saying go that way. She didn't know which way. They said, listen, keep the river to the right of you. Keep the sounds of the river to the right and follow that. How much they didn't know? She used to pass out. <laughs> and wake up. And they be saying, what, Harriet? The, they heard the dogs barking. They gone. Guess what she say? They saying, which way do we go? Go that way. And she was right every time. The spirit leading her. The spirit leading her. Them people didn't have no book, homie. You feel like we being misled by the Like a motherfucker. Uh, uh, Woodrow Carter Wilson say it, the miseducation of the Negro. That we're being miseducated. He wrote a whole book about it. So let me stick to the niggas. So the niggas knew how to grow food. The nigga knew when to look at that motherfucking season and that sun and know what when to start mm -hmm. growing food. The nigga knew how to build houses, but he didn't know he didn't know the white boy mm -hmm. algebra and mathematics. He knew how to fix the tractor. He knew how to fix the plumbing. Mm -hmm. If the radio broke, he can fix anything in the house, mm -hmm. but he can't read English. You know why? He didn't give a damn about that white boy <laughs> words. <laughs> He didn't give a damn about reading that white boy word. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to be left alone. Mm -hmm. Not beat on, not hung on, mm -hmm. not spit on. Mm -hmm. Left alone and provide for his family where he was. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to go move up next to Master at the house. He didn't want to sit on the porch and drink tea with Master. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to do none of that. Mm -hmm. He didn't believe in Dr. King's dream. That was the Negro with that dream. The Negro said, I want to be white, daddy. I don't I want I want to wear a suit. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to wear them ugly coveralls mm -hmm. like you, daddy. Mm -hmm. Look at boy, look at your shoes hanging, daddy. Mm -hmm. I want to no, dad, I want to put a tie on like so that mm -hmm. was the Negro. Mm -hmm. When the when the niggas got out of slavery, they went over there and stayed over there. Mm -hmm. And they put their head down and they worked, they stayed with their family. They was uneducated, but they had land. They had chickens, they had cows, they could eat out their own backyard, they can process their own food. They didn't go to that white man for nothing. Mm -hmm. The white man used to come buy chicken and bacon from the nigga. Mm -hmm. White boy used to know how to do nothing. Mm -hmm. So now, here come Dr. King with his dream. Let's go join them. The nigga said, this little boy crazy. See, y'all got to go study history. Mm -hmm. The elder black people who was called nigga did not like Dr. King. Mm -hmm. That was the foolish thing for you. To, why would we go live with our enemy? Mm -hmm. And they go spit in our food like we used to spit in their food when we was in the kitchen. And they, Why would we go do that, mm -hmm. boy? They thought he was crazy. Mm -hmm. And he was because that was his dream. Because when he was a kid, his grandmother told him or his mother he had a white friend. She said, you can't play with him. So that was his dream. If you go listen to that, I have a dream speech. Mm -hmm. It was a nightmare for the niggas to leave our restaurant, mm -hmm. to go sit over at their counter and get hit upside our head just so we can sit there. We got our own restaurant, young blood. Mm -hmm. So when the white man realized, OK, we're going to enslave them economically by taking down the Jim Crow signs and segregating, mm -hmm. desegregating, integrating, right? Mm -hmm. When they all started in the beginning, the fight was equal rights and equal protection under the law. Mm -hmm. It wasn't by eating in no white man restaurant. Mm -hmm. It wasn't by riding a bus with no white boy. It was about, man, I want the same rights as you. If I start a business, you burn my business down, you go to jail too. Yeah. You come <laughs> rape our women, you go. To, so it was about equal rights and equal protection under the law, something we still fight for. But we got, integrate, we got integration. We can go to school with white kids. We can kiss on a white girl and never be hung. Uh, but we still don't have equal rights and equal protection. That's why, uh, yeah, that's why the Asians do and we don't. Mm -hmm. The Asians have equal rights and equal protection, but mm -hmm. we don't. Uh, so the nigga, the nigga have always been the strongest out of all of us, even though he was enslaved. Mm -hmm. We think, oh, I would have never been enslaved. Man, we weak in the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. We couldn't have endured slavery. Mm -hmm. We say what we would have done, but we're still under slavery today. Mm -hmm. We're digital slaves. Mm -hmm. So we're doing just what the slaves did. Got in line with the, well, well with the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're digital slaves now because uh, everybody else is making money off our slave labor, our digital labor, and we're not making a dollar because we don't understand that we're the new slaves. 
uh, we're volunteering to be slaves. People laugh when I said that years ago. I said, black people are going to volunteer to be slavery, go back to slavery. What you mean? Our kids are not skilled like the niggas. Mm -hmm. Food prices is high, right? Uh, niggas can't cook. They use processed food, microwaves. Young niggas can't barbecue. They can't start a fire. So when things get rough in America, because it's going to get rough, mm -hmm. uh, I need a job. Niggas going to start saying, I work for food. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're going to volunteer uh, like they do with the day labor job. Mm -hmm. Nigga, stand outside. That's, that's what it's going to be like. It's not going to be nobody hitting you with a whip saying, come here, nigga. Mm -hmm. the, the conditions are, are going to create something where when you go on a job, your supervisor going to mistreat you your whole time. <laughs> you can't tell nobody. <laughs> Every, he have a yeah, yeah, just like slavery. Mm -hmm. when, you, when he see his kind come in, guess what he going to do? Hey, come here. Yeah, yeah. He going to take care of his kind and yeah. tell you and your kind to get back. We're already seeing that. So let me ask you this. Do you think we can get back to that point of of, of being the original niggas? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or the Negro man? For one, when the last time you talked to a nigga? No. They probably like, oh, no, though. But, when the last, but they still yeah, can talk. Yeah, yeah. And they are a wealth of knowledge that we don't even talk to. Mm -hmm. See, I've been talking to the niggas the last 12 years. Mm -hmm. That's why you hear me say nigga this, nigga that, nigga this. Mm -hmm. Because I understand that we are not African descendants of slavery. We ain't. Mm -hmm. We the seeds of the nigger slaves. Mm -hmm. yep. We the seeds of the nigger slave. We are a nation of people who are trapped in bondage. Right? We was made, homie. We wasn't brought here. Indeed. We was made. We trapped in bondage. A nation of people trapped in bondage. We have no name. We want to be black, colored, Hebrew, Muslim, nigga. We niggas. Yeah. Niggas. Seed of the niggers. Nigger slaves. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a name. We don't have a religion. Well, you can't be a nation of people to get reparation if you don't have an identity nor a religion. We don't even have a flag. So how can they reparate us in anything when we haven't even been identified yet? I see where you're going with this. I Come on, homie. So, 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 so nigga, niggaism. Yeah. We yeah. don't read nobody books. Mm -hmm. We just believe in the spirit of God. The spirit, yeah. homie. Yeah. If I'm locked in a cell and I'm thinking about killing myself at 13, 14 years old and these white folks won't give me no Bible, how do I access God? Close your eyes and pray. What if I ain't no more how to pray? Yeah. My mom, what if my yeah. mom didn't teach me how to yeah. pray? Yeah. How do I access yeah. God? By the spirit. Mm -hmm. Not that book. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's already in us. Well, for that, that book, I get played on with the book. For one, what if I can't read? What if I can't read to comprehend? What if my reading comprehension is also low? I can't I can't never understand the Bible. And I got to rely on this man who could be a pervert, who could be to give me a God, to give me his God from his point of view. Mm -hmm. How else do I how else do I so I got to be able to see? Some people a living testament of that God talk, mm -hmm. and most people aren't a living testament of that God talk. That's why they talk it and can't walk it. Mm -hmm. So we could never get back to, to those people. For one, we don't even understand what they went through, brother. So what you so let me what you what what do you feel like religion was created for? Because for me, I feel like religion is just simply a, a, a divide of all people, honestly. Uh, uh, um, you, the Europe don't have a religion. Our, our religion was created from Africa. All religions was created in Africa. So Christianity. All, all, all religions were created in Africa. Uh, no other, no other group of people, even the Catholics. Everything was stolen from Africa. That's why the Catholics got the books. The the, the Queen of England got books that we'll never read. Uh, r religion, religion was stolen from Africa, used by the white man to control the masses. Uh. If they really believed in religion, then the white man could never be so cruel. They drop bombs on countries, homie, and they don't even blink eyes. Uh, when President Trump first entered into the White House as our, 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 our commander in chief, uh, one of the first things they did was drop the bomb over in Syria. And the name of the bomb was called a Moab, M-O-A-B, mother of all bombs. It's one of the largest bombs that have ever been dropped in, in human history. 
uh, until this day, our media won't show us no images or pictures of it. Yeah, y'all gonna get me crazy. killed talking this deep. Nah, nah, let's go nah, back to them niggas. Yeah, let's go back to the nigga talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go back to the nigga talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me ask you this. So my my brother, he's he's more of the he I'm I'm the I'm the I'm the I ain't no the bullshitter, but I'm the I'm the off the wall. Yeah, we like yin and yang, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a little more serious. I'm the number of the I'm the complete opposite. So for me, man, this 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 finesse two finesse two time, man. Um so I watched your live, man, when you when you called CPS. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that was real? Real like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. CPS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real. I really called CPS on. Uh, I didn't call CPS on uh Yeah, I did. I called him on him. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, I called him. Like a motherfucker, I called him. What made what made you call him? Uh that little motherfucker was threatening me. Uh I saw a ten year old kid making terroristic threats. Uh, with a tone like a grown nigga who go carry him out. Hey, he can shoot dice too. Like, I see him uh, shoot some dice. Uh, Yo, he can shoot too. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. I know a ten year old and killed two people. Dang. Uh, I know a ten year old killed his mother. Uh, I know a ten year old who who killed their baby sister. Mm. Uh, I know a whole bunch of ten year old killers. Mm. Uh, I know a twelve year old stabbed their next door neighbor ninety three times. Uh, I know a 12 year old who stood over their mother and father with their best friend and killed them. Uh, yeah, I know some dangerous kids. Mm. So uh, uh, I don't take threats from nobody lightly. And, and they teach teachers, uh, juvenile workers, uh, you never take a threat from a child lightly because they don't have the brain capacity not to act on it. Mm. Uh, when I saw those adults, for one, I, I never knew who the kid was mm. uh, for me to call CPS. Uh, I was joking because I had seen a kid uh, in the club at night with money, hoes, cars, jewelry, clothes, uh, shooting dice. and So I'm seeing this shit. I'm saying, man. So I make a joke about it yeah. uh, to finesse two times. I was really just joking. You know, I said, yeah, man, that little boy, grown that little motherfucker is. Somebody molested that little boy. So I'm just really just fucking. So fucking around, joking. So when they respond to me joking, you know, I'm an internet troll, so, you know, I'm going to troll the situation. They got a kid in the club. In my mind, uh, in my mind, these street niggas, these real gangster niggas, so they're not going to respond to me. For one, why would you respond to a nigga who they say is a snitch? Yeah. Why would you respond to a nigga who they say is the police? And he done already say done called the police on this nigga, right? You see him working with law enforcement. So in my mind, y'all not, not learn they lesson, know a lesson. Nigga, leave that nigga, leave that nigga alone, homie, just talking. Yeah. So in my mind, I come up under niggas who will pull my say, nigga, you better not say nothing to that nigga. We over here getting money, fucking with bitches, nigga, you better leave that clown alone, nigga. You know what them niggas do, that's what them internet niggas do, fuck that nigga. That's the old niggas I come up under with a handle me, right? So in my mind, you can't tell me for this two times ain't that kind of nigga, because I'm listening to his lyrics. Way he talking his lyrics, this nigga a G nigga, a gang. So in my mind, nigga, for one, little homie, you still a kid. You should, no, I don't give a fuck what he said, my nigga. You still 10 years old, fam. Now we go play and all that, but nigga, I'm your guardian. Your team. Nah, we not go put you out there like that, my nigga. Mm -hmm. So we ain't go throw you to the wolves like that, mm -hmm. right? The nigga a police ass nigga. So now you got the other two niggas standing on side. Oh, yeah, they making. So now they endorsing the threats with finesse. So I'm saying to myself, I know these niggas can't be this goddamn stupid. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, man, I'm disappointed like a motherfucker. Man, these bitch ass rapping niggas keep disappointing me. T.I. disappointed me. Boosie. Tupac. I can go on down the list, homie, because in my mind, homie, these are thoroughbred G niggas. They not fit to respond to no nigga online talking and ain't hit you, yeah. ain't threat. Uh, so my mind, these niggas get. So, so I've been working out too, yeah. man. Hey, so, uh, <laughs> so, so in my mind, homie, these niggas, not that they're above me, but nigga from the position they in, nigga, I'm not speaking to that nigga, homie. To, so when that little nigga did that, at first it was funny. Till I start listening. And then I start hearing the endorsements from the grown folks. I said, oh, they don't know who they fucking with. 
No, 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 no. They don't know. No, nah, nigga, I don't take no disrespect from no kid. Yeah, yeah it was all fun, but mm -hmm. all that, what you go do to me, we go script you, my yeah, ain't Man, <laughs> no, nah, I know what to do with this. 911? <laughs> yeah, 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 I know how. 911, help! <laughs> I got an issue. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, so in my mind, homie, this kid has to be in a detrimental situation. Uh, it's a, it has to be some negligence there. Uh, so, nigga, I did what any person who's been doing what I've been doing for the last 12 years working with kids report what I believe is child endangerment. Yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I reported child endangerment. So no, nah, that that wasn't no skit. That wasn't no. That was that was real life shit. So who who you feel like disappointed you the most out of out of everybody you didn't you didn't have some had some confrontation with? Uh, Tupac. I ain't had no confrontation with him. Uh, yeah, Tupac. Uh, he tricked himself, my nigga. He played gangster and got killed, and he wasn't no gangster. He was hanging with all them gangster niggas, homie, screaming M.O.B. And, and everybody knew, homie, uh, that was the death of him. Uh, he shouldn't have never, the, the nigga he kicked was a real motherfucking gangster. And that cost that nigga, homie. We, we, we can say the white man killed Pac all day long. Nah, homie, uh, Pac killed Pac playing gangster. And everybody who personally know him will tell you that, homie. He wasn't supposed to never sign with them niggas. Go, nah, homie. Uh, everything that go gangster, homie, is destroyed. So you feel like they worry about my, my, my boy Ja? He, he, he kind of uh, he, he, me too, though. Uh, well, well, everything that go gangster gets destroyed. Uh, America only glorifies the gangster in movies. Mm -hmm. Only to in real life set his motherfucking ass on fire. And yeah, so uh, the NBA said that we're not going to uh, announce what we're going to do with Jay Morant uh, to after the NBA Finals. That ought to be the hint to let y'all know they finna slam his ass because yeah. they don't want no distraction. That's, that's the hint. Nigga, they, mm -hmm. Homie, uh, uh, you can't thumb your nose at rich, powerful white people when they give you a chance. You see what happened to OJ, didn't you? OJ went to prison for going to go take back some shit that was stole from him. Thanks. Because he thumbed his nose. When he came out and said, hey, I've got a book coming out to see if I did kill the bitch. <laughs> man, what? <laughs> nigga, what the yeah, man? Yeah, they said, oh, okay, nigga. Yeah, we got you. Uh, uh, same, same with Lil Boosie, homie. He, he's been antagonizing the police on side the roads, cussing them out. I spit on you. So now he's back in trouble again mm -hmm. after beating five murder cases. Uh, homie, you got to turn right and go straight if you go throw him your nose at him. The nigga who was, who was the head of the, uh, the, 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 the so-called black militia, the black NF, that NF not fucking around coalition, mm -hmm. they started thumbing their nose at them white folks. Going to the motherfucking clan headquarters, rallying, uh, like they really go do something. Yeah, yeah, and they got niggas with tennis shoes and, and women out there together and all of that, right? So you, you, they went and got the leader. You don't see them niggas marching no more, do you? No. Yeah. <laughs> they shut that down. Hello? They yeah, went and got, down. they arrested yeah. the leader. Mm. They didn't shut it down. Oh, just, you yeah. snapped the head and everything, yeah. yeah. Everything else gonna fall. That's what happened. They don't make no noise no more. Yeah. But the white boy know you playing when you call yourself Grandmaster J, mm -hmm. Grandmaster Flash, and you the head of a militia. You got a DJ name, nigga. White boy ain't taking you serious. <laughs> Motherfucking Chris yeah, Kyle yeah. didn't have yeah. mother American Sniper. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Nigga ain't got no nickname. No. Mother, yeah, no, nah, they don't. No, nah, man, we want a nickname. That's how I know niggas ain't serious. Akbar, Mohammed, <laughs> Leroy, Jenkins. Man, nigga, that ain't your name. <laughs> nigga, when it's time to revolute and it's time to die for our people, we ain't got no name, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, our actions is our name. So that's what killed me about these niggas. They want to change their name, nigga. Your name was given to you for a reason at birth, boy. 
and you go deny that legacy and bloodline of what was given to you and who you are, that's your family's legacy, and you go be Ray Ray from, from neighborhood <laughs> crib. <laughs> that is real. Come on, my nigga. The, the, the Bushes, the Reagans, the DuPonts, Hiltons, the Heinzes, many them people wore their name with pride. The Rothschilds, the Chases, Men and people, the men, the Kennedys, men and people, the, the Jacksons, the Carters, Beyonce, men and people wear their name with pride. Fuck, I'm gonna change his name for a nigga and I'm a white. A great nigga, my granddaddy was the first black man in Fort Worth, Texas, on a restaurant in a hotel on the west side of Fort Worth, homie. Come from the military. My grandmother, which is his mother, was a slave by the name of, a nigger slave by the name of Lucille Helton. Property of the White Sloan Plantation. Why would I be ashamed of Charleston White? Nigga, and I'm property of the White Sloan Plantation. A nigger slave. My grandfather's name is Freddie White. He's the oldest of 17. Everything up under him is a Helton. My grandfather got the slave master prop, and we own the land to this day. So I can trace my lineage back to the nigger. Mo can't, my mm -hmm. nigga. So I'm saying, when the last time you niggas done talked to somebody old and soaked it up? Yeah. But you know, me and him, we just we just had a conversation about that. We don't do that like you saying last time. Like people don't come together. Our people we don't come together like break bread. Like how we used to every Sunday. We used to, you know, have like well, uh, well, well, well. Uh, that's why niggas rob and steal from each other. That's why brothers and sisters today hate one another. Can't get along with one another. One of them can't wait to get the up on the other one. Because when we used to sit down at the table together, for one, everybody was home by supper time. Back in the day, nigga, everybody rushed home. Man, I got to get home for supper. Mm -hmm. Mama, daddy, everybody. Our son come in late, nigga, daddy looking at him. Mm -hmm. You know what time supper is, young boy. Everybody mad at you because you ain't here for supper. What supper time did was give dad and mama and the family, we looking at each other. If daddy done kicked mama ass, guess what? Daddy either sitting up there like an asshole nigga, mama all black, looking at everybody, mm -hmm. everybody quiet. But he feeling shame. Yeah, yeah, he feeling bad. <laughs> yeah, the son looking at him like, boy, I can't wait to show. But we all looking at one another, engaging one another. Because at some point, let me see them beans. Mm -hmm. You hear me? You say yeah, pass me them peas. Yep. Now, when I say pass me the pee, what you doing? Nigga, you handing me food. Now we really breaking bread because now we passing around the table. We don't do that nowhere, nowhere in none of our household. You get your plate. You go in the room. I get my plate. I'm for to go on the porch with my friend. Look, my, the son go get his plate, go go in the room and sit on the floor. And everybody's divided. Eat. That's why when they grow up, nigga, we don't carry no tradition. Because guess what? When I got my plate, I went over there. I went over there, and we all live in the same household, and we don't eat at the table together. Man. So do you think we'll ever get back to a place? Never. Man, okay. Nah, never. <laughs> okay. yeah. Nah, never. We're not those people anymore. Uh, we are now our, We are now the hateful-hearted white man that used to hang a motherfucker from the tree, and he just wasn't satisfied with him hanging. Just burn him. Just set his ass on fire. And put the fire up under there and set him on fire. Matter of fact, I'm cutting this dick off too. And they say, go get everybody. And we all stand around and watch that motherfucker burn to death. And we got our kids out there taking selfies. That's we those people today. Uh, the people we see in the pictures around the dead nigga hanging, we those people today. We carry the same spirit, we got the same mind, and we got the same actions toward one another. So how do we, how do we get Ain't that? no nothing, homie. We got to die off. Yeah. So, so, so this will go on for another maybe 30 to 50 years. We only got two generations of black children. So the black children we see today are going to be like children of the corn. They're going to they're gonna rape their sisters. They're going to beat up their mothers. They're going to stomp out their grandmothers. Uh, this group here is real vicious. Uh, that's why we got to put out the fire of the little kings. Uh, we have to, man, man, if, if I tell y'all, this little boy told one of his sisters, I'm going to send this from 50, but bitch, I ain't sending you nothing. <laughs> and he having all the money and his siblings just sitting over here. The mother just went to jail for stabbing their grandmother and the kids witnessed this and they struggling bad. 
but they watching their brother hold money this high. You don't think when he go back there, one of them siblings won't set him up to get robbed? Because of the, not that they're going to get him, they probably would because of the resentment, envy, and jealous that's being bred from taking him out in a way. And the other kid is saying, Mr. Charleston, don't you think you're right? Listen, look, my baby, he's just a 10-year-old kid. He don't know no better. Don't y'all be mad at your brother. But he do. He know right. Baby, don't y'all be, what, what y'all need? I got it. I'm going to send it. So that's why a lot of people in the household wake up to run outside the house to go be friends with their neighbors rather than their brother. Mm -hmm. Because of what's being bred inside the home, division. My mama didn't allow me and my brother to high side and talk about one another. Ah, you ugly, your dad. Man, my mama would whoop me. Nah, we, we couldn't do that. We couldn't talk about each other as brothers and sisters. My mama don't play that. So that comes from the household. Ah, your daddy didn't come get you. Ah, that's why you don't know your dad. Me and mama coming to slap you in your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> but there are some people mm -hmm. come in the household that that was allowed. So guess what? They more friends with they, yeah. they more family with their friends than they are with their family. They really come over here with their friends and talk about their family. So do we blame? Can we blame the youth though? Because why you say we start Nobody, no, no, nobody's blaming the youth. But what the youth are blamed for are their actions. Because you know right from wrong. You know if you shoot this gun and kill somebody, you wrong. Yeah. You know if you steal, you wrong. You don't nobody have to tell you that. You feel it. Yeah. And that's what we got to get back to. Nigga, you know what's wrong, right from wrong by what's inside of you. When you tell a lie, do you feel bad? Yeah. Nigga, if I tell a lie right now and everybody in this room believe me, and nigga, I know I'm lying. Nigga, I would drive away feeling horrible. Mm -hmm. It's something niggas won't. Mm -hmm. It's some nigga go tell the same lie somewhere. Oh, yes. It's some niggas, yeah. homie, that see you drop a hundred dollars and be flat. They flat broke. They see you drop that hundred dollar nigga and pick that hundred dollars up and feel bad holding it in their pocket. Mm -hmm. Say, look at that, homie. Here you go. Mm -hmm. That's me. Mm -hmm. See, I can relate to you too. I'm from Alabama, and uh, like when you talk about the growing up like that, that's how I grew up, you know. And it's still like that now, but. Me, I've been living in Dallas for 18 years now. And when I go back home, like sometimes I have to catch myself like, bro, you tripping, like this where you come from. Like I be complaining like it's too slow down here, it's this and that, you know what I mean? But really like that's the way we need to be living. Like they still having supper at, at six uh, o'clock, you know well, what I mean? Well, some, somebody told us that pork was bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know who told you nigga pork was bad. <laughs> All food is bad now, how they process it. Mm -hmm. Chicken, pork, fish, noodles, mm -hmm. rice, cheese, milk, bread. Everything, everything is fucked up yeah, now yeah. from how they process it. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors ate slop. Mm -hmm. Pig this, pig that, pig this. The only difference was they didn't stay inside. You got one species who come from a cave. Mm -hmm. Inside of a cave is cool, it's dark. Windows down, moist. That's how most people have their houses. The people who come from the caves develop diseases and carry diseases. Asthma, sinus problems, mm -hmm. sinus infections. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, the sun people who come from the sun mm -hmm. don't go in the caves. Because if you take a flower and put it in a dark cave, it's going to die because it needs sun. We the flower, we sun people. So somebody done tricked us to running from the sun because now black people will not go out in the sun. Man, it's too hot out there. It's 108 degrees outside. Naturally, your body is at 100. How is 108 degrees really hot? That's your mindset. The white boy, you done been tricked, nigga. They done took you out your power. You don't even go outside no more. Who do you see outside now? The Mexicans? Working like a motherfucker. The new niggas? Working like a The new niggas? Getting yeah. all that sunlight. That's, yeah. why they that's why they strong now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why, listen, so, so let me break it down. So they done, they done tricked us out the sun. Oh, he been boxing too. You see that? Yeah. 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 I see that. I see that. Hey, hey, they, done, they done tricked us out the sun. Mm -hmm. And boy, they done took us away from my poke. Between that pork and that son, the nigga lived to be in his hundreds and his nineties. He didn't eat that beef like the white man. Mm -hmm. All the cancer is coming from the beef, not the pork. It's coming from the cow. The cow's milk. Mm -hmm. That red motherfucking meat. Mm -hmm. 
Now that chicken is fucking these niggas ass up even worse because how they process it. It ain't got a beak no more. And niggas used to grow their own motherfucking chickens. Niggas used to fry their own motherfucking chicken. When did niggas start buying chicken from the Asians, from the Asian chicken spots? You mean to tell me there ain't no black person nowhere in this city that can outcook these Asians and frying fish? They can make a battle? But we run to the Asian spot. So they done told up, man, don't eat that pork. But they run into this beef. Mm-hmm. Man, that beef is so, my homie, the, the cyst that's on beef is so horrifically, I mean, that's, because beef is the only source of food. It's already a dead caucus. So we're not supposed to be eating dead caucuses anyway. Mm-hmm. That's the white boy. He a caveman. He eat raw meat. <laughs> he eat. It sounds funny, yeah, but no, why do you real. think you eat a steak bloody raw? Bro, that's his diet. That's not ours. Mm-hmm. We don't have the same genes. Mm-hmm. That's why they got to come over here and tap into ours. Mm-hmm. So if you're going, yeah. So he eat raw meat mm-hmm. because he like to taste blood. That's why when you saw Deontay Wilder and Furry fighting and that nigga licked that nigga's blood. (laughs) You know why? Y'all laughing. It gave him strength like the sun. Listen, homie, like the sun give us strength. Mm. The sun weakens him. Mm -hmm. Why you think he show up everywhere? Nigga, he'll eat a woman's pussy bloody Mm -hmm. because it gives him strength. They even got some drinking it. Order it to drink because it gives them strength because of what they're made of. We're the only people on this earth, on this God-given earth that has 100% human DNA. We are. We better not be drinking nobody's blood. We better not be drinking nobody's milk. When you get through breastfeeding your baby, that baby is supposed yeah. to not drink no more milk ever again. Yeah. Almond milk is not milk. The white man made that because he <laughs> like milk. He has to drink animal's milk. The black woman used to breastfeed the white baby. The white woman ain't never breastfed no nigga baby. And the white baby became strong and healthy off that nigga's milk. And they go, as soon as he get off that titty, guess what they going to give him? Bloody meat. That's his diet. That ain't ours. See, they got y'all believing that the pig is bad because when the white boy get the pig, he treat the pig bad and make, make him eat all this. But the wild hog eats vegetation. The wild hog eat vegetation. They don't tell you that. That's right. <laughs> yeah, nah, we miseducated, man. Yeah, we miseducated like a motherfucker. But hey, I'm gonna keep playing dumb. Uh, and that's and that's my thing right there, man. Like uh, when I hear you, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I hear this, even in the in the lies with the antics and I, like I know how to take the candy out of. Like the, the old nigga told me, man. Only those that have ears will hear. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Only those that have yeah, ears will yeah, hear. Yeah, it yeah, ain't yeah. for everybody, my nigga. Face. All us ain't going. Yeah. Some of us go get left behind. Mm-hmm. So a lot of us just got to die off in vain. It's mm-hmm. going to be a lot of kids just die. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because they disobedient. And they said disobedient children days shall be numbered. So it's a lot of kids days will be and are being numbered because they mm-hmm. disobedient. They won't listen to their mama. They won't listen to the coach. They mm-hmm. won't listen to me and you. They won't listen to nope. So they have to die off. There's a lot of old niggas go die off in the state that they in. They mm-hmm. don't get another chance to get it right. They go mm-hmm. die convict. They go die broke, behind on child support. Their kids ain't gonna go. They have to die like this, my nigga. Mm-hmm. So the next generation can rise. Yeah, it's gonna take the it's gonna take the for sure, man. We watching it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we watching sure, it. Sure. From the George Floyd to the Trayvon Martins mm-hmm. to the to the to the King Von, we watching it, homie. Mm-hmm. We watching us be eradicated mm-hmm. uh with no consequences to nothing that's eradicating us. It's almost like God have taken his hands off of us mm-hmm. and allowing us to be wiped out mm-hmm. like he did those that were before us, yeah. who were supposed to be his people. Uh, I don't believe there's there's no biblical text. There's no Hebrew text. Uh, there's no spiritual text that's going to align us with God. Uh, it's going to have to come from the parents restoring their hearts back to their children. Uh, I, I think one of the saddest things in the world is for your children not to inherit your belief system in your God. Your children grow up and not believe in the God that you've been carrying. 
I think that's the worst thing you can do to your kids. That's real. Let them go find a God on their own. In this big old world full of gods. Mm -hmm. it's, it's many of them. <laughs> so, 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 but the hold, let, let, listen, stay away from religion. Yeah. Look at the spirit of a man or a woman and just watch them. Mm -hmm. I did my mama like that because I couldn't wait to tell my mama, ah, oh, you wrong, you wrong. I ain't had a chance to tell her yet, homie. And I've been watching and trying to prove her wrong with that Jesus Bible talking. Mm -hmm. I ain't never heard her curse nobody out. I don't see her get drunk. Uh, I never seen a man come out of a bedroom. I've never heard my mother say nothing bad about my father. Mm -hmm. She had it, man, uh, man, I ain't saying she perfect, mm -hmm. but that's the closest thing to Jesus I done seen. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't I believe in whatever God she been talking about? Right. Why wouldn't I take her God? Her God got grandmama off heroin. Her God got ain't be off crack. My brother just come home from a 114 year sentence on a murder case. I did 12, 12 years, seven years on a 12 year sentence on a murder. My uncle Wayne been in prison. My granddaddy been in prison. My ain't be in jail or uh, Keisha in jail. My mom got to go see all these people, nigga. This weekend, this weekend. And I never heard a complaint. And we all out with her God. Her God done, out, done beat all out. We done went Muslim. We done went atheist. We done went pimp God. We done went game God. Mm -hmm. crip. We done tried all the God. Mama still holding on to her God with love, compassion, mm -hmm. dignity. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen a break week. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen a moment where she wanted to give up seem like. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to say, man, do my mama get horny? I ain't who fucking mama. <laughs> <laughs> then mama got married. Yeah. So, uh, so I, I know I watched God work through this woman. Mm -hmm. So if ain't nobody God's real, I know that woman God real. Mm -hmm. That's the one I'm gonna grab hold on to. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know about your mama God. Yeah, yeah, I don't know yeah, about the Hebrew yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't watch this woman God, and I don't try to debunk the God. Mm -hmm. I went Muslim trying to debunk. Mm -hmm. I've been rebelling against my mother's God, trying to say, man, she don't know what she's talking about. That's just that. Mm -hmm. and I can't prove her wrong, my nigga. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Not to you know transition a little bit because we you know, but to to go from 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 where you were in that mindset of you know you was helping the kids and and fast forwarding it to like now you kicking knowledge right and, yeah and but still the hate is coming you know what I mean like how, how are you able to deal with that knowing that what you doing and what you saying it can really impact and help if people will just listen. Yeah, when you throw the dirty diaper at me, I pick it up and throw it back. That's how I, I throw it back at you, niggas. Yeah, that's how yeah, I deal yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and then if it get too too hectic, uh, I get serious and say, well, shit, nigga, I work with kids in real life. Nigga, fuck you, bitch, that nigga, nigga. Mm -hmm. See, because if I get mad, it ain't a mother. It ain't too many people that can question me, homie, mm -hmm. if you ain't done this kind of work. Mm -hmm. uh, if I roll out my resume... If a nigga just Google my name, homie, mm -hmm. man, half these niggas can't even talk to me, my nigga. Mm -hmm. And I did all of this over 10 years, and I never asked for one dollar from nobody. Nobody. I ain't applied for no grant. I ain't took no white folk money. I did it grabbing my dick, talking shit. Yeah, my, yeah, no, nah, my nigga. Bold yeah. with a boldness yeah. because they say the spirit have to be bold to go forth. Mm -hmm. The spirit that goes forth has to be bold. Nigga, I bug white people, gang, bang, whoever mm -hmm. I think wrong toward us. They, yeah, they, I'm with it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, nah, homie. So when, when the police kidnapped me, right, my homeboy son killed the high-ranking police officer in Fort Worth. So now I really got kidnapped by the police. Mm -hmm. uh, nigga, they took me to, from the jail, from the jail to the crazy house, to a mental asylum, and nobody knew where I was. See this, this, see, this that gangster shit niggas just be talking. See, <laughs> Dr. King them used to come up missing on the back roads. And they don't know nobody know where he is. And they got to try to call the president to find out where he was. And they got his ass in jail somewhere. Mm -hmm. Them three reporters that came down from New York to Mississippi, they went missing on the back road one day. They found their ass buried in the car, all three of them dead. Mm -hmm. And the sheriff them had something to do with it. The movie called Mississippi Burning, check it out. Thing. See, that's what they used to have to go through back then, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so when they get me in modern day time, uh, they took me from the jail to the mental asylum under the Sandra Bland Act. Most people don't even know what the Sandra Bland Act is. 
Can you speak on it uh, for people that don't? No, nah, I ain't tell the motherfuckers yeah. nothing. I <laughs> they hope, say they gonna do your uh, research. Well, uh, yeah, I hope they go do their yeah, research uh, because that's why your government is pushing mental health uh, because the Sandra Bland Act uh, it strips you of your due process. So Sandra Bland had a smart mouth. They said she was dealing with some mental ills. She mm -hmm. killed herself, right? Mm -hmm. They just really want to strip her. So if you got a smart mouth now, uh, you'll end up in a mental hospital and you'll never see a judge and nobody will never know where you're at mm -hmm. because you're not going under constitutional laws. You're going under HIPAA laws mm -hmm. where can't nobody release your medical information to nobody because you're an adult. That's why they're pushing this mental health shit. Mm -hmm. And they're giving the police officers discretion to decide. So if he want to be a real asshole, boy, mm -hmm. you want them bad ass niggas, mm -hmm. you bucking. Oh, boy, we'll hide you forever. Mm -hmm. Because under the mental health situation, you can be civilly committed. That's why they're pushing all these shootings. Because they started doing this with sex offenders. A sex offender who was sentenced to 20 years and, they, and he's getting out. And he done done this 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they said, man, we think he going to do it again. Mm. But, he, but he ain't done nothing in prison. Yeah. Well, I think he going to do it again. Mm. So we're going to civilly commit him. Google these words, civilly commit and Sandra Bland act. Homie, you could be stripped and ain't nothing nobody could do. Play bad if you want to. Mm -hmm. And they think you crazy. Mm -hmm. So, uh. Under, it's called Senate Bill 1462. So black people was clapping. Sandra Bland, mama came down here and everything, homie. That's probably one of the worst things uh, that, that they got over our head. Mm -hmm. uh, the young niggas standing at the store, standing around in the park for that K2, drunk. Guess what? Mm -hmm. However they want to play yeah, now, yeah, nigga. Yeah, they got you. See, we screaming and squabbling about some bullshit. Okay, y'all don't want us to shoot you. We got some more shit for you now, nigga. <laughs> but niggas ain't hip because niggas ain't keeping up with the law. So they get me with this motherfucker because I'm playing bad. Mm -hmm. And nigga, at this time, I'm a bad motherfucker. Nigga, I'm standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the police. Uh, I done went hell security uh, for my nigga mama, uh, for my nigga and his wife, uh, while the police had their funeral. So uh, nigga, when they got me, in my mind, I'm saying, man, y'all can't do this motherfucking shit. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing like a motherfucker. Said, yeah, y'all, for me, we finna make the news. Because, nigga, I'm a political figure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, when I go over there, I'm saying, man, I ain't seen no lawyer. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I ain't seen no judge. But they done kept me. Can't no lawyer come get you? I'm sitting down telling myself, yeah, nigga, you been talking that badass talk. Mm -hmm. You been talking that Dr. King talk. You been talking that Jesus talk. Mm -hmm. Don't cry now, nigga. That's what they had to go through. Mm -hmm. See, if you ain't got no leaders mm -hmm. going through nothing, nigga, they ain't being targeted. They ain't, nah, them ain't your leaders, my nigga. Because mm -hmm. they go put some pressure on the one they think that can really lead y'all. That's real. That's real. Say, man, all them rappers, say, man, them Jay Z's and them, 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 mm -hmm. uh, them Mike, say, no, 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 them ain't the one. That's for real. Because they get to move free. Say, they man, they say, do. man, listen. They ain't cahoots. Uh, no, 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 no. So, uh, so, so I end up staying like seven, seven or ten days. I never seen a judge. By the time I seen a lawyer, nigga, I was probably on my fifth, sixth, seventh day already shot up with drugs. Damn. And to this day, I can't tell you what they were giving me, homie. Uh, all I kept seeing, I never seen a doctor. So what they do is they put you in, in a world of an experiment. They need doctors, right? So where, where, do, where do you think most of your doctors go get their practice at? The mental hospital. So all of them student doctors. Uh, so now I'm looking. I'm saying, man, nigga, this the twilight zone. Nigga, my mother said, son, I don't know what kind of trouble you done got yourself in. But the lawyer said it ain't nothing nobody can do. I'm thinking to myself, ain't nothing, nobody, man, it's a marriage. Somebody can do something. Can do something. Nah, yeah, not, yeah, not, yeah, nah, not, yeah. not, not with this law, homie. Uh, we playing right now, my nigga, and th these people ain't playing. These people are putting things in, in, in place where uh, if we ever wanted to get back at anybody, uh, the laws would prevent us. We would go federal. Mm -hmm. uh, we could never stand up and so they're, because they know our children will one day. Mm -hmm. We won't. We won't ever hit back. We won't never spit back. Uh, we're the, and, and I'm including myself, uh, us alive today as black people, we're the, 
We're more cowardice than the slaves were. We're more cowardice than the niggas who were riding on the ship, looking at each other, saying, say, let's try to take it now. And nobody did. Did they go back down under and let them lock them back down? We're more coward than those people. And we have to be if we want to stay alive and, and we want to be happy in America. We have to submit to our coward nature. What we feel as black people during police shooting, that's God talking to us. But won't none of us act? Won't none of us respond? All that anger, all that shit that we felt, homie, won't, won't no, we feel it, we see it. Guess what we do? Well, we go back to watching basketball. Yep. We, we are submitting to our coward nature against our nature. Because the first rule of nature. Self-preservation. Yeah. Self-preservation. And we're not self-preserving pres- pre- ourselves. That's for real. Man. We're out of nature. Now we definitely are. Yeah, we got the, we got, we got the white man nature. Yeah, that's why we like his restaurants. That's why we like his basketball. We like his sports. Mm-hmm. We can't break away from him. Mm-hmm. If he moved to a neighborhood, we go right where he go. Mm-hmm. We believe that when we wake up in the morning, every day that the white man is going to be able to cut the lights on. Mm-hmm. And one day he won't. Yeah, because yeah, Russia got some shit that can stop him. Okay. Or China got some shit that can stop him. Sure. North Korea yeah, creates sure. some shit that can yeah. stop him. Mm-hmm. So sure. we still got faith in him. Mm-hmm. We still think he's the biggest and, and, and the baddest, mm-hmm. and he's not anymore. So let me ask you this. I know a lot of people got the moving out of America movement, uh, moving to Africa and the Mexico I wish I and would. all that. Like, the, like, what's your thoughts on that? Like, is that, the niggas is that didn't go. To escape? Uh, well, I'm a nigga. Why yeah. would the nigga leave nigga land? This nigga land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our ancestors never went nowhere and didn't want to go nowhere. They just wanted a little piece of land over there and be left alone. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go there. I don't want to leave America. Yeah. Uh, nigga, I want to go down there to Tijuana, Mexico, maybe fuck some of them Tijuana <laughs> hole. But nigga, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go too, I don't want to go too far deep off of Mexico. I still like fried pork chops. I like collard green. If I leave America, where I'm gonna find that at? I'm not in the foo foo in African mumbo jumbo food. <laughs> Homie, I don't want I don't homie, listen. I, listen, homie, I don't want to leave America. There's nothing outside of America that intrigues me. I'm still intrigued by the niggas. Boy, when I learn about them niggas in South Carolina, the slave niggas that come up out of Alabama, I'm still intrigued by them people, homie. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I care about anything else for. That's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah. Uh, we got. Yeah. What time is it? Man, we wrapping. Oh, okay. Shit, 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 man. Damn, I'm enjoying can, them all. Can we get I cannot be real? Can we get I cannot re, re real section up? Man, nah, we ain't got to go ahead. We get about two, ten more minutes, man. So, uh, every, every so, man, uh, before we get into that, though, uh, one more quick question I had for you. Uh, the transitioning from the internet sensation to now we see you all around the world traveling. Uh, we just seen you recently with TK Kirkland. Y'all, yeah. y'all doing a show like 56 I, City, uh, 56 City, uh, four country world tour uh, with Live Nation. Uh, Live Nation, uh, it's only two, three comedians now. Uh, T.K. Kirkland, uh, Dave Chappelle, and, and Kevin Hart that only do Live Nation. Uh, and so uh, T.K. Kirkland had been watching me for some years. Uh, Shout out to T.K., man. Yeah, and, 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 so, uh, and, and so he felt like he, he believed in what he seen. Uh, so he met me, uh, met the man, I observed the character. Uh, you know, look, looked at the people that's around me and, and what's around me, mm-hmm. and, and he felt confident enough uh, to tell Live Nation that I, I want Charleston White hosting the tour. And so uh, they didn't hesitate to say, yeah. That's that's yeah and when, when y'all kick off the tour? Uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, July, July 7th. So, uh, that's, that's what's up, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, so, 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 yeah. so, so let me just say this. This, uh, this the first, this the first entertainer, black entertainer, who put their arms around me publicly. Mm-hmm. The rest of them been trying to shun me, uh, ban me, erase me, silence me, uh, close the doors on me, rather than showing me. Mm-hmm. Uh, my prayer is, my prayer was, is I know I got some talent. Mm-hmm. I just need the motherfucker to look at me. Mm-hmm. And they looking. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying to myself, man, all these people looking. Why wouldn't nobody say, come here, nigga, let me show you something. Let me give you a game. He the first one to do that, homie. That's what's up. Uh, I've went to many comedians. I've, I've had many comedians. I done been backstage at the D.C. I all love it, homie. We done kicked it and woo, woo, woo. And I'm saying, well, them niggas ain't obligated to show me nothing. 
Uh, but man, where the where the where the where, the, where, the, where my kind at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just like when you in jail, you in prison. You see a nigga come, a young nigga come in. He a fly young nigga. You see, he ain't no. You go pull him to the side. Say, come here, youngster. You you go give him the game mm -hmm. so you can build another strong brother. Mm -hmm. Or if you a nigga who shooting dice, you see a young nigga shooting. You go get you go pass the game mm -hmm. down. So uh, I, I knew it, it it would be some comedian, uh, an older comedian that would come to me and give me the game. I just didn't know which one. So uh, uh, I just stayed down, man. Uh, I believed that I could take my talent somewhere, uh, no matter how offensive it was. Uh, it was never it, it was never no hate in my heart. Uh, I never woke up angry, spewing none of the things that I said. Uh, there's no contentment, there's no resentment in my heart. Nigga, I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah. And I don't give a fuck. I hate for yeah. sound. I mean it sound. Yeah. Nigga, when I cut the thing off, I'm laughing like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, so uh so they, they just wanted to see, homie, that 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 I could that I would for one that I would listen to somebody. Uh that I'm not as crazy as I appear online. And believe me, they've done their research. Mm -hmm. uh, there's enough documentation uh to say who Charleston White really is in real life, mm -hmm. where I can go online and do anything. As long as I, don't, I can really go online and do anything. I don't really hurt nobody. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I done done it. I'm, yeah. Uh, you didn't need anything. Because documentation beats conversation. Uh, uh, actions speak louder than words still to this day. So uh, you you notice uh, I didn't I ain't really smoke this blunt on her. I normally smoke my whole thing. Uh, but Live Nation asked me. I ain't gonna say Live Nation. Let me take this back. I was asked in such a nicely way uh, after being complimented. Uh, from hosting some great shows, uh, could you stop smoking while on camera? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my response was, yeah, I know y'all need me to be more advertiser friendly. Mm -hmm. There go that word again. Yeah, yeah. There go that word again. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I said, yeah, I know. I yeah. said, oh, you ain't got to worry about it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you don't see me go live smoking no more. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's called growth and development. Yeah. Hey man, well, we support you too, man. Nah, so anytime, 100%. you know what I mean, you welcome man. on this couch. You know what I mean. Yeah, like sure, well, you gave sure. us some game, man. Even before sure. all this, you know. And I just want to say now, like we appreciate you for real, man. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm gonna have to come back, yeah, man. I yeah. feel like I'm being rushed out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah nah, I got nah, to come nah, back. Hey, hey, we nah, we nah, definitely can we keep you longer. Keep you know what I mean. But at the end of every show, man, we always do something called "Can I Be Real?" Moments, right? And in these moments, we 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 ask real live questions. You know what I'm saying, mate. He gonna throw you a curveball already. No, he the one that's gonna come up with something hey, crazy. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be straight. You know, little little something to help the people. But um, I'm gonna go first to get my question no, out because no, because I know it, he got something. He no, gonna pull go a rabbit it, out man. the hat, man. No, so it, man. my can I be real question? And you know, be you you've been keeping it real this whole show. You know what I mean? So just keep it real uh, with us now. My question for you is, if and I know during the interview you said like conditions may not change, they won't change, right? But if it's anything like we can do as a people for the people that's out here that's really trying to help the community, really trying to work with the kids, like what advice would you give to them people? Uh, fix you. Yeah, fix you. Uh, every day while you trying to go help the kids. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't fix your people. You can't fix the community if you ain't waking up fixing you. Uh, it, it's some people coming outside trying to fix all the problems in the community, but they bed ain't made. Mm. Yeah, they bed ain't made. Uh, they, they got a month worth of dirty clothes in the hamper that they keep washing. Or they got a bunch of clean clothes they ain't folded up. Mm -hmm. They got some old food in the ice box that they should have threw out. They got a cousin that they fell out with that they can't apologize to because it really ain't that serious. Mm -hmm. So you want to come fix your community, your black community, but your mama and her sister don't talk to each other. Mm -hmm. You and your cousin talk about your other cousin. You got some more other cousin that's in foster care mm -hmm. that don't nobody really fuck, but they talk about them and see them. Mm -hmm. So you want to go fix the black community, but you're looking in the mirror every day overlooking your flaws, your fucked up thinking. Your jealous ways. Mm -hmm. So my advice is, nigga, fix you first. And when you come out that bathroom fixing you, wiping your ass good, start cleaning up around the house. That's right. Change the air filter. Mm -hmm. Wash the blanket spreads. Pull the bed from and sweep along the side that wall where that shit is. Mm -hmm. Start dusting. 
Start in our first before you get to your race in your community. <laughs> when them, you come outside the house, get that thing where all them leaves right there. The motherfucker. Get that motherfucker. <laughs> Trim yeah. the bushes. Mm -hmm. Pick up your neighbor's trash that look bad. Start power washing the orange stains in the street to make the street look bad. When you get through with that, then you and your neighbor start talking to each other. Hey, how you doing, neighbor? Y'all all right over there? Once you and, you and, you and your neighbor start doing that, then y'all start having street events. Mm -hmm. End of the year block party for the kids that made straight A's. Why would you want to go anywhere past that? And that's the problem with black people. Mm -hmm. They want to try to fix the race and ignore everything they see in the mirror. Yeah, so I went to the mirror first, homie. Yeah. That's why I can stand before black people and say the things that I said. Mm -hmm. Talk to you, nigga, because I'm a day one daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm a day one daddy from the time she said she was pregnant, I've never left. Mm -hmm. Perfect attendance in fatherhood. A lot of you niggas got unexcused, inexcused absences. <laughs> I ain't got none. That's so right. I can talk this bold. That's right. That's right. I ran a youth organization, and I never fucked on the women in the community. Mm -hmm. The little league football coaches can't say that. I can't. I'm not known as a whoremonger, and I'm in the strip clubs all the time. You don't hear women making videos about me. Mm -hmm. They will make thousands. Me and motherfuckers get rich if I was that kind of man. Mm -hmm. I ain't known for disrespecting yeah. the black. You don't see black women bashing me online? Mm -hmm. No, nah, homie. I protected my character amongst my people. Yeah. I ain't known for shooting guns at niggas. I ain't never shot a gun at a black man. Mm -hmm. I ain't never robbed a nigga, homie. I always went across the railroad track. I served time for, we killed the white man. My gun didn't fire at no black man. Mm -hmm. All the houses I broke into were mostly white people. Mm -hmm. The black people houses we did come in home and we left because we saw a family. So the forces and, and the energy, I have a, a, I have a shield around me, homie, because I've never done wrong to black people. Mm -hmm. When I sold crack, I sold crack in Arlington at the white hotels. I never took crack to the black community. I never pimped on a black girl. So I never done wrong to my people. Mm -hmm. So I can stand before my people and talk as bold as I want to talk to these niggas because it ain't no blemish on my name mm -hmm. toward my people. My people are mad at me because I done talk. Yeah, yeah, nah, homie, nah, not. Nah. Mm -hmm. You ain't doing it. You just saying the same thing. Uncle Joe be saying that. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Alabama, homie. so. Yeah. I be hearing some crazy. Like, you ain't doing them but saying the same thing that, you know, uh, when we sitting around the borough and your uncles out there and your older cousins, they you saying this, like, but it's just now just all up front. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uncle, uncle said something like this to me last week. And it wasn't recorded, you know what I mean? Uh, but now that we can capture everything, it's like people I, I, just so I could have I, I been hateful. Mm -hmm. Or I had hateful black men around me that wanted me to hate white people. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was born in 1977, so I mm -hmm. come up around them niggas couldn't stand a white man. Mm -hmm. uh, but I come from love. I come from a loving mother mm -hmm. who her God says has no respect of color. So I never learned to be hateful. Mm -hmm. I tried it. Yeah, I tried it. Yeah, I tried to be hateful gang banging, but shit, nigga, yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, nigga, I couldn't yeah. keep doing that shit. Nigga, that's, why, that's why when a nigga got some sense, he yeah. quit. Yeah, soon nigga turned 18, soon yeah. nigga got some sense because yeah, it didn't yeah, make yeah, sense. It didn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you have to have hate to carry this. Yeah. To be good at this, you got to have some hate in there, and I never had no hate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Man, my, my question was, it, it ain't gonna be like that. Yeah. yeah very good question. So, man, I'm, I'm, I'm on my phone on Instagram, and I'm watching one of your lives. Why are we talking? No, not while we're okay. talking. Okay. No, okay. no, yeah. no, no. This, this is like some, some probably, probably a few weeks ago. Man, you said something that kind of took me back, man. So I, I had to. Man, did you did you really send a video to Batman Kiva? Yeah. <laughs> so you you sent your dick to Batman Kiva? I ain't sent him. I yeah, I sent it all it. <laughs> that motherfucker was all it, and I was priming him up. Before I end the video, I <laughs> to him. Uh, man, uh, he sent people said he sent his, he sent pictures to me. Uh, I wake up one morning, this nigga all in my inbox. Uh, you know, with that styrofoam body <laughs> flexing on me. So man, that nigga, uh, he had these two things. They were big and a motherfucker. And he lifted it up. Mm. 
I said, oh, man, this bitch want to flex his muscles. <laughs> and I was standing in the mirror looking at myself. I said, man, you can't. Why you go compete with them muscles? Man, this nigga be blowed up. I said, I'm going to blow something up for a motherfucker. Like <laughs> yeah, I went to pulling on that dick. I know what to do. Yeah, I know what to send him. <laughs> yeah, he want to show something. I got something to show too, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you, you talking about you proud of your muscles? I'm proud of this law. <laughs> huh. Look at this, nigga. And uh, that nigga, just in my mind, I'm waiting for the, uh, I'm waiting for the block, you know, where you can't talk to him no more. Boy, next thing I know, I seen them, them little dots coming up. Oh, he been responding to it. He done watched it. Man, it was a 15 second video. He can't help but see it. Oh, uh, I said, oh man, that nigga typing to that dick. Boy, next thing you know, uh, boy, next thing you know, that nigga said you gay as hell. <laughs> but he spelled as hell. A S L. <laughs> he said, "You gay A S L." So, boy, for half a day, I'm trying to figure out what Where that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what gay mean. Man, I'm wrecking my brain like a motherfucker trying to figure out what this motherfucker A S L mean. So I find somebody say, "Man, it mean gay as hell." I said, "Oh man, this boy is a foster kid or something." Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, So listen. So he sends, listen, he sends some. he's been, he, listen, ever since I sent that boy, that Peter, let, let me get it out here. So I, I ain't going to let you see it. I ain't going to let you see it. Hey, he said, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, here, let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unsend it from the boy. Because I sent him some more the other day. <laughs> I sent him some more the other day just laying in the bed with my feet up. <laughs> hey, say, I told him, this how you know it's me, Kiwi. You see how that thumb been back like that? That's my thumb, <laughs> Keevy. And then my vans. I wear a van. Look what the boy been doing. Mm. I, it ain't enough. The boy still been sending me messages. He still talking. I would have blocked the ass. Man, yeah, look, yeah what I, I look, look what I told him. You my new hoe. Nicely <laughs> built up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell him? I told him that Monday because the boy started sending me shit. <laughs> so I tell him, you my new hoe. Nicely built up, bitch. <laughs> he sent some more shit. So now, man, in my mind, uh, Dick is like repellent. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, nigga, just jump. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, yeah, 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 oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, yeah, nigga, don't, you just ain't nothing. So, uh, nah, man, that nigga, I, I, in my mind, that's the, what's more disrespectful than grabbing your dick at a man and saying, nigga, suck my dick? How many some old niggas, if you tell them that, they'll kill you. Yeah, yeah, that's it for you. It's some old niggas, a nigga, they'll throw their yeah, life away yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. So, what's, what's some more ultimate yeah. disrespect? So, I'm saying, why is this nigga up sending me muscle pictures? <laughs> And he done told us that the body is blowed up. Nope. So why he flexing on me? <laughs> and he got bent this. Nigga, I know something that can compete with that shit. <laughs> nigga, I know, nigga, I know some shit. Nigga, ain't, ain't, nigga, money ain't got nothing on that motherfucker. <laughs> Man, shit, nigga, I should, yeah, look at this, nigga. Yeah, here it is, right here. Say, boy, so next thing you know, he show bad man, he show big folk, big titty. Big Teddy done took it and showed everybody. Now they on Clubhouse talking about it. I said, man, what kind of man is nigga? Homie, you, I'm blocking you. Homie, yeah. I, ain't, it ain't, I, I ain't that mad at you no more. <laughs> Homie, I don't want no problem with you. You, 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 you ain't playing for it. Nigga, I'm dumb. So I'm going to leave that nigga alone. Yeah, not, so I'm saying, not. man, what's wrong with these niggas? And he's still in that inbox. He still messages me to this day. Yeah, I say the boy yeah. can't get that dick off his mind. <laughs> Can I be real? Can I be real, man? Yeah, man, because you ain't supposed to see it, so it's going to stay on there. You got to work hard. Man, if you stumble up on a dick, you got to work hard to get it off your yeah, mind. You, you, you affected. Yeah, man, this boy, like, he ain't affected at all. He ain't fazed by it. He ain't fazed by it at all. So, shit. Uh, yeah, I just be ignoring him now, man. I said, shit, man, this boy, yeah, hell, yeah. They can't yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing yeah. going to do it. Nah, hell no. Hey, man, can I be real? Hey, can I be real, hey, man? Be real, man. It's been a good one, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a real good one. Yeah, y'all got to have me back on here, man. Yeah, y'all got to have me man. back on this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, like this ain't long enough. Nah, this has been a good one. This might be some of my best motherfucking interviews right here. They be saying that other shit good. They be saying that other shit good. Nah, this here was raw, uncut. Oh, yeah, without no put on on the put on. Yeah, can I be real? Yeah, nah, for real, man. Quick shout out to our sponsors, man. First of all, we got that, like, I gave you know, that Marjorie Pure. Yeah. That's the Marjorie Pure. Pure alkaline water, black owned water, man. Marjorie Pure. This is good, too. Man. Yeah, yeah. And it's in a pretty bottle, like white folk, man. And then, man, shout out to our chef, man. Chef stuff in the building. Two yes, else yes. on the chef. Two else on the shelf, man, for the good food, man. Then we got our 
We got our black on clothes line. You know, we got ordered my steps five. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him for the for the, especially for the kicks, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey man. Nah, we got everybody covered. Yeah, huh? we, we got everybody covered. Oh, shout, yeah, shout, shout out to Heist Dish. Yeah, Heist Dish. Shout out to Heist Dish. For sure. Yeah, for sure, shout man. Shout out to Heist Dish. Yeah, hey, man. And shout out to you, Charles. Man, we appreciate yeah. you coming through. Say, man, we got that Atlanta kicks, the celebrity kick nigga in the building, too, man. Yeah, there you go. Hey, come on in, man. Come on in right quick, right now. Come on, sit down. Like a rapper too. Yeah, for real. Say, man, that nigga been all around the country getting that uh thousand dollar shoe to celebrities for free. <laughs> no, we celebrities too. Shit, y'all yeah, finna yeah, get yeah, some yeah, now. Yeah, 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 Say now, nah, man, too. uh nah man, I've been watching him. Uh, I ain't know how big he was. Man, nigga showed up my he been man, I told you nigga sent me them Yeezys, the Vans, the Jordans, uh the Donks. Man, I didn't know these them high dollar ass shoes these niggas be rapping in. Man, I said, man, shit. I feel so shame wearing them motherfucking Michael Jordan tennis shoes. Boy, and all them little niggas looking at how clean they are, cause they just like them too, boy. I ain't bullshit. They clean in the motherfucker. And boy, I secretly felt like I was the nigga too. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah it make you feel alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. boosts you a little bit. Oh, uh, but now, nah, man, I've been watching this young brother travel all around the country, and he really, really just got my attention. Uh, man, nigga with Crip Mac, he with everybody I don't like. Some I like, some I don't like, but he everywhere yeah. giving away shoes. So I'm saying, man, how, how how you able to do this? Just give them away. I've been selling shoes five years straight. So what happened was I sold shoes to my first celebrity, and I shipped them to him. And when he got them, he shared them on his store or whatever. And I was like, man, really, I could have just flew out there and gave it to him, got some content. Mm -hmm. So my next celebrity I let, met up with was Boosie, I think. It was Boosie. I went out there to Boosie Estates. I chilled out with, you know, a little Tootie Raw. And we yeah, did everybody the Everybody don't like. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we, we did the content. So when I uploaded that content in Atlanta, we posted or whatever. And then that's when Pooh Shai, Steve Fujiano, oh, a lot of people start hitting my DM. So I made sure I got everybody right in Atlanta, and after that, that's when I knew if I stay consistent with this content, yeah. good game. I'm up out of here. Yeah. So good game. That changed my situation by just meeting up with Boosie that one time, and he went crazy on that video, mm -hmm. and it went viral. Yeah, so so my next viral video, I came back to Houston, did a video with Sauce Walker. And I seen him. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So gave the shoes to him. He done did his Super Saiyan and yeah. took off running. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I took off running behind him. That went viral all over the internet. So, like was, you had the Super K bone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Super Saiyan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I seen that nigga. He jumped out the tree and done that. <laughs> yeah, I was on his ass. Yeah, so pretty much staying consistent on dropping the best content with the hottest shoes on earth. Yeah. That's what's going to keep me afloat and what's going to keep me bigger and better than anybody else on the, in America to even sell shoes, period. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't know them don'ts was the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah I said, yeah. man, that nigga done brought me these old ass motherfucking Nike. Nah. Man, so I want them. It's crazy though, cause we said back in the nah, day, he they used to be. He didn't wear Jordan, so I was like, man, I gotta bring yeah. him some fly ass. Oh, they fly yeah, too, nah, boy. You hear me? Yeah. Say, boy, the young nigga, when I put them on, I feel like a young nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. They gonna, they gonna knock about 10 years off. What, boy? What? Shit. Yeah, y'all head at this point, but all the young hoes be trying to get them when I got them don'ts on. It's Young Hollywood 1K on Instagram, Young Hollywood 1K. The biggest nigga plug on the on the net, period. Uh, it don't yeah, I think he is. I'm the biggest, period, and I'm the most consistent, and I'm most I'm connected with everybody from New York, Atlanta. It don't matter Houston, Dallas. It don't matter what part of the country. I'm the most popular. So listen, so let me ask you. So do they call you and tell you, hey man, we got these exclusive shoes, or you go look for them? I, it get real deep. But I've been doing this five years. But I've been around celebrities in the last probably two and a half years. So before I met my first celebrity, I was already locked in with the sneaker game. I already had my connections. When that ship come over here from Memphis, I'm all, I get the first phone call. Mm. So shoes come up missing, I buy them, and we're going we gonna to market them around the celebrities. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Already. I'm to get you on, man. Shit, yeah, man. man. Yeah. 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 Next time, we're going to get you information. Next you hear you, you the city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I seen him over there working. Yeah, shit. Yeah, that's that's, that's why he where he at. That's why he where he at. Shit. Yeah. That's yeah. Right yeah, that's a plug for sure, sure, man. But this has been a solid one. Oh, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Uh, we got, we do got some shirts for you over there. Uh, yeah. Some shirts, some hats. And we got um, another sponsor too. Uh, we got a um, B Fly. This B -fly, my, yeah. my brother. Uh, brand. We talk about family and legacy. Yeah. yeah so this is my brother brand. Uh, this is Blues Closet. Uh, this is Dre. Yep. And then this is uh, another one is brand. Yeah, blue closet. Yeah, it's blue right. closet. Yeah, support the local ladies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, 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 man, we rocking right. with all the black owned businesses. So man, we just trying to build build it together, man. And just as y'all can see, four black brothers up here, man. On the Can I Be Real show, we put out some good gems, good content. Y'all stay tuned for more, man. Be on the lookout. 
Follow everybody on set, man. We're going to have the links in the bio. Y'all yeah. stay tuned. Can I be real? Can I be real? Yeah. Yeah, I like it.